this video, I take a deep dive look at the Decala, Arkenstone and Sunstone ambient lights. These feature rich devices are more than just a sleep aid and alarm clock. Our family loves smart lights. Out of the over 150 lights and bulbs in our house, I've managed to update a number to create smart zones for convenience and entertainment. I love using lighting to set an ambience for movie watching, help with bedtime, getting up in the morning and creating fun tech projects. It was with this in mind that I was excited to discover the Decala products last year, and after Decala reached out to me, I wanted to take a closer look at their range of lights. Decala shipped their Arkenstone and Sunstone smart lights to me for this video. One particular exciting feature I was looking to try out was how the Decala lights could integrate into my Google Home ecosystem. So for full disclosure, I've been paid by Decala to create this video, and I include links to the devices in the description below. And if you use the code HOWTODOITTECH when you check out, you'll receive 20% off the price of the lights. Both the Sunstone and Arkenstone can be set up as smart devices, but they feature a wealth of manual controls that you can use to access and adjust all of the settings. The most noticeable difference between the Sunstone and the Arkenstone is the design. The Sunstone features a section that is reserved for digital display and so the LED light illumination stops about three quarters of the way down the front of the face. The Arkenstone on the other hand features a full LED display with the digital readout projecting through the face. The physical buttons on the Sunstone are arrayed around the edges of the device. The Arkenstone buttons are arranged around a dial that controls the brightness and volume. The Arkenstone is also larger and heavier than its sibling and has a more rounded and uniform housing, unlike the two-tone plastic finish of the Sunstone. The primary use of the devices are as alarm clocks and sleep aids, and as such they include clock and alarm functions. You can set the time manually, but a nice feature is the ability to set the time automatically once connected via an app on your phone, even automatically making changes for daylight savings. The main feature of both devices is of course the light itself. The Sunstone gives you the option to choose seven different hues, while the Arkenstone gives you even more refined control, supporting 16 million different colour variations. During its alarm and sleep functions, the use of the gradually increasing and decreasing lights promotes better ways to wake up and go to sleep to maximise rest. The light and sound settings are selected as part of the menus for the alarm clock and sleep aid features. With the Sunstone, you're able to set four different alarms with varied options. For instance, you can set an alarm for weekdays versus the weekend, or even create your own bespoke schedule. The Arkenstone features two alarms which are probably more than enough for most users to differentiate their working week from other days. The Sunstone has three settings for brightness for the clock face, permanently on, turning on and off based on the ambient light in the room, and permanently off. The Arkenstone by comparison uses a scale from off to 100% brightness. In addition, both devices feature the option to choose from different alarm sounds, with seven on the Sunstone and five options on the Arkenstone. You can also set the brightness of the light, plus set how many minutes ahead of the alarm the light will switch on and gradually brighten. Should you be interested in using either device as a night light, there's also a quick setting available by depressing the button on the edge of the sunstone and the edge of the dial for the Arkenstone. It's a handy feature for parents with kids or adults who like having a night light. The sunstone and Arkenstone both feature multicolored LEDs as well as the default color option. Again, a physical button enables you to rotate through the settings and choose your preferred hue, whether for use for waking up or going to sleep. The radio receiver on the Sunstone is for FM signals only. If you're a fan of waking up to a particular radio station, the Sunstone has a scan mode. After running the scan function, you can then flip between your local FM stations using the physical button or the app. The final feature is a sleep aid or fall asleep mode. Using a combination of light and sound, or the last tuned in radio station on the Sunstone, the mode will gradually decrease the luminescence over a specified time before turning off. This can be combined with a selection of different sounds which also decrease in volume. To use the Decala lights as part of your smart home setup, you'll need to install the Smart Life app. If you're not already familiar with the Smart Life app by Tua Smart, it's used by a lot of companies to operate their smart devices. The brand agnostic app alleviates companies from having to develop their own software. Smart Life has become more and more common and you may find that you're already using it for some other smart devices in your home. Once installed, when you open the app, you can follow the instructions to add the Decala lights to your home setup. 
It did take a few times to connect the Sunstone successfully, but once it recognises the device, it features a user interface with some quick links to the most common functions. If you tap on the Sunstone's icon, it takes you to a virtual set of options using a graphic of the Sunstone device itself, which is a really nice touch. Tapping on the various icons will bring up the same function control that you have with the physical buttons. The Arkenstone uses a different user interface, grouping the main six functions and nesting the deeper settings underneath. The main benefit of the app is it's much easier to control the Sunstone and Arkenstone, so you don't have to physically pick up and manhandle the devices every time you want to use them. This is especially helpful for the radio where you can remotely tune the different FM channels with a few taps. With the app set up, you can now integrate the Sunstone and Arkenstone into your Google Home or Amazon Alexa ecosystem, which I'll cover in more detail later in this video. I tried the Sunstone and Arkenstone in a variety of different situations. Specifically, I wanted to see how versatile the devices could be. The lights perform admirably, both as alarm clocks and sleep aids for the family. Some fine tuning was needed to make sure they are working exactly as I wanted, but the good news is that you can make changes easily. The volume and brightness can be managed intuitively. Changes you make while the function is in use is stored as the new setting for the future. Another useful little feature of the Sunstone is it also has a USB output for conveniently plugging in your phone to charge. The 5V 2A output doesn't support fast charging, but if you're plugging in your phone overnight, the slower charging speed is less of a concern anyway. Another interesting feature is the ability to run the lights from a battery pack. I could see this being useful for camping trips or maybe even some new and fascinating ideas which I can't even fathom right now. Finally, one fascinating idea on the website is the use of the lights as a long distance lamp. I've seen other similar home tech before. The basic premise is that you'd buy the devices in pairs and give one to a long distance relative or partner. When one makes changes to their device, the other device is also affected, promoting a sense of connection for friends and relatives separated by distance. The Sunstone and the Arkenstone offer similar functionality where you can share your device with a friend or relative and they can remotely control your light, which is quite charming. Integrating the Sunstone and the Arkenstone into your existing smart home is very straightforward. While both devices support Amazon Alexa, I personally use Google Home to control a lot of the tech in my home. To get started, all you have to do is connect your Smart Life app to your Google Home by using Setup Device. From there, choosing Works with Google and searching for the Smart Life app will guide you through the process. As mentioned before, if you're already using the Smart Life app for other devices in your smart home, the good news is that your Decla lights will automatically appear at the bottom of your Google Home app. What was particularly interesting is the way that the Smart Life app breaks out the different functions of the lights into individual virtual devices. As well as the Sunstone and Arkenstone lights themselves being assignable to a room or zone in your house, wake up alarms, FM radio, sleep timer and snooze functions are all broken out individually. The bonus of having these functions split up is that you can rename each function that you use with voice commands to trigger them. This is especially important if you use Google Assistant routines. In my own personal setup for my daughter's room, I use a routine to turn off a light, reduce the volume on her Google Home, start playing her favorite bedtime music, and turn on the Sunstone sleep timer with a single voice command. Overall, I'm really impressed with both the Sunstone and the Arkenstone. There are a couple of areas for room for improvement. For one thing, the Sunstone includes quicker access to functionality in the app than the Arkenstone. Also, both devices could do with the ability to preview the alarm sounds when setting them through the app. Unfortunately, you're not able to hear the different sounds before selecting them and using them as alarms as normal. But these are minor gripes in the grand scheme of things. One final note I had was that while using the Sunstone more than delivers in terms of its core functionality, the Arkenstone stands out as the more aesthetically pleasing option to me personally. The sleek design with its full face LED display enables it to blend into any setup. It feels more like a piece of interactive art and it wouldn't be out of place in your bedroom, office or even your dining room. Thanks for watching and as always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on the connected home and personal technology.